Namaste and welcome back to another Welsh Christopher Robin bucket list vlog. Guten Morgen. Uh, danke. <laughs> so this vlog is our bucket list for Universal. We did Disney a couple of weeks ago um, and now we're on to Universal. So yeah, so it's our top 10 bucket list things we want to do or experience whilst we're in Universal. And then hopefully, if either November or May happen, we will then watch this back and uh, comment and see if it's still the same, isn't it? Definitely. So, uh, do you want to go first? I'll go first this time, Chris. Thanks very much. So, okay. coming in at number five for me is um, it's Fast and the Furious Supercharged. <laughs> Only because, God, it's like Marmite if you watch any vloggers. People either love it or hate it. I quite like a bit of Fast and the Furious. My favourite is Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, which is controversial, I know. But um, yeah, we quite like it. So I, I'm quite excited to see what it's going to be like. That's my number five. Exceptional. Thanks. So my number five is the Velocicoaster. Now I'm not a coaster <laughs> I'm a person, and I'm not going to go on Velocicoaster. But um, it looks it looks really good. If yeah. I was into that type of thing, I think it, you know, and the feedback and everything like that is, is awesome. And I think just the way it, um, some of the visual pieces aren't and stuff like that. Um, the corkscrew of the water, or probably a technical term for that somewhere or something like that. Yeah. Um, and, and bits and pieces. So I will be watching others <laughs> to do that and look at their enjoyment or, or not on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd really like to see that. It's brand new. Um, yeah. So I'm looking forward. Coaster, look, yeah, yeah, looking forward to seeing that. And I think, you know, even if I get through the um, sort of the ride line sort of thing where there's other bits and pieces and then dip out at yeah. the end sort of thing with, with Liam or something like that, then that yeah. would work in, in May of next year. So yeah, yeah. all good. Perfect. Number five. Number five. Number four for me is the big pink donut. I've seen loads of people have it. It's like in Simpsons land, isn't it? It is. And it's huge. It's like this big. So I'm quite excited about trying the big pink donut. I think it would be quite... It's a sharer. It's a sharer, isn't it? <laughs> Bit of sugar. Bit iconic, isn't it? The yeah. old pink, big, big... Oh, Christ. Good value as well. Pink. It is very good value. We've seen this before, isn't it? I think it was on um, Despicable 3. Yeah, about nine dollars or something mm. like that. It's not expensive. But you can share like three or four. Oh, it's actually four. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Two, no, four, I reckon. Four. So, yeah, that's my number four, the big pink donut. Yeah. So, my number four, carrying on that theme, is <laughs> voodoo donuts. Yeah. So, again, voodoo donuts is a bit hit and miss. Oh. I think people put them as they're good, but they're maybe not the best. as the people mm. throw ones out there, out there. But the range of the different, well, I'm really interested in the range of the different style of donuts mm. in, in, in America. Yeah, they do like, is it yeast? Yeah, there's like four or five different sort of. I mean, over it, we just base, get bases before they just, they just chuck all the additives still... on, top, <laughs> on top of it and in, inside yeah. it. So, yeah, so there's no really specials out and stuff like that. So, it'd be good to go and try some of those. Yeah, yeah. So, definitely. if we do donuts, number four for me. Ah. Mm. Number three for me is um, E.T. Bone Home. Yes, E.T. Adventure. Again, it's a bit of a. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think it's had its time, it's passed. But I think, I mean, E.T. for us. At our age is iconic you know it's one of steven spielberg's first films and yeah it just i just love it and i can't wait to go on it and just see it and you're on like the little bikes aren't you and it goes up into it very similar to peter pan Shall i think I what you want? Bike, okay. <laughs> so yeah number three for me is et's adventure very oh, excited about that one cool uh, number three for me is the Raptor encounter. Raptor. Raptor. I've got American already. Raptor. Oh, Raptor. Ra Raptor. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great Raptor encounter. Why, well, thank you. That does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, so the Raptor encounter. Um, yeah, so I think that's just really good. And I think, um, again, sort of Liam will really like that. Oh, wine will really like that as well. <laughs> Uh, should be great to yeah. see that and uh, the interaction there. So yeah, yeah. Raptor. Raptor encounter. Perfect, which leads ideally on to number two for me, which is Jurassic Park River Adventure. Really for Liam, I think. It I mean, I like a water ride, don't get me wrong. I, I do like, I don't mind getting wet. I don't think everybody's getting me wrong. <laughs> They're not? No. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, because it just looked really cool. Very immersive. I think um, the whole Jurassic Park piece now at Universal, now they've got Velocicoaster, the Jurassic Park ride, um, Water Ride, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think it'll be really good. And I think Liam and stuff will love it. So yeah, number two for me, Jurassic Park River mm. Adventure. So my number two is the Bourne Stunt Spectacular, mm. which was almost, I think, almost opening beginning of last year, just as the pandemic hit, so I think they were doing sort of runs through it and stuff like that. And I've, I haven't heard or seen much more of that. 
um, yeah. on many vlogs and stuff like yeah. that or any of the people going in uh, to watch it mm. but apparently the show itself is spectacular is it put it in the, put it in <laughs> wow, the title spectacular. Um, so yeah so, so again something different like the born films um so yeah it's interesting to the bit of air con but have sat sat down watching um a sort of stunt show so mm. yeah so looking forward to that one nice what's your number one rob my number one Oh, I can see. Oh, we have got one written down. Is that uh, it's Hagrid. So you had to go with a bit of Harry Potter, didn't you, in the Hagrid's ride, which I haven't actually written down what it's officially called. We'll put it in down below. Um, or up here. Um, yeah, Hagrid's. Really looking forward to that ride. As you'll probably tell, we're not... I like a coaster. I don't go upside down. Um, but I do like a coaster, but Hagrid's just looks really good, really immersive. I like the fact that you're on the sort of motorbike with the sidecar. Um, the queue is supposed to be very good, very sort of, you know, although it is supposed to be quite dark and a little bit claustrophobic. But anyway, um, yeah, Hagrid's is number one for me. That's the one ride, again, I would definitely queue for, definitely would want to wanna try and do it. I don't think Liam's going to be tall enough to do it, is he? At no. all, I don't think. No. I think you have to be like 1.6 maybe to do Hagrid's and yeah. we reckon you might get to 1.4. But... the heights a bit, we need to... Um... You need to, yeah. We look at that. Don't we? Um, but yeah, Hagrid's is my number one. Cool. What's your number one? My number one is over. I say over Harry Potter. It's over the other side, isn't it? I think. The castle. Yeah, so it's Hogwarts, nighttime. Um, lights. Lights, yeah. So again, you saw the Disney vlog. I think the again projections and fireworks on the castle is now nighttime um, feeling on Hogwarts castle mm. and stuff like that. I think it's just been really good. Um, I would have put down sort of the theme in round sort of Harry Potter as well and things like that. I think that whole mm. anything themed, I think it's just adds so much more to it. But I think that nighttime um, show would be really, really good on the castle. Because mm. um, we have looked at sort of the Universal Parades and stuff like that and we're not really feeling those, are we? Not as much as Disney, no. I do so, think, I mean, we've never done Universal. If you're watching this vlog for the first time, we have done Disney before both of us in different parks we've never done Universal so when we say bucket list for Universal it's a proper bucket list mm. we have no idea what to expect we've watched vlogs we're just not sure are we? No and yeah I, just, I think that sort of daytime bits and pieces uh, parades and light shows and stuff like that I think this is the one that I really want to do everything else at the moment mm. I could give a miss whether mm. stuff more at Disney on that side of things, and yeah. Universal is a different style of park, so totally, yeah, totally, big totally, totally, totally get it, yeah. totally get it, and there are yeah. there is a Universal Disney split of people as well, yeah. um, and I think it's money driven round coasters and the style yeah. of, of um, rides yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, so, so yeah. another one for me is um, the other nighttime show on Hogwarts Castle. Yeah, so Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so comment down below what um, are your favourite things to do at Universal, or what's your bucket list for Universal if you haven't been. And um, yeah, thanks for watching as always. And uh, yeah, we'll see you same time, same place, six o'clock on Saturdays. Bye. Take care.